Welcome to the February 24th, 2020 Advance Report from McGowan Group clients and NetworthRadio.com listeners. I'm Spencer McGowan, President McGowan Group. Thank you for tuning in. I am also your financial weatherman with your fast-paced weekly global tour of the financial markets along with the top headlines. The technology to bring you the program at NetworthRadio.com and YouTube. Special shout out, Ismael Sanchez, the Sanchinator, absolutely brilliant technology master and our chief of compliance that reviews all the programs. So a special shout out to Izzy Sanchez. Here we go, Dow Jones Industrial Average. Well, it fell below 29,000 at the end of the week. This, of course, is just the year-to-date chart for the Dow. We are overdue for a correction anyway, and I wanted to cover some of the implications on investment strategy as we go through this. The coronavirus headlines, as we've covered in the past, you can see them right here. You can see a recovery, the all-time high on the Dow, 29,568. It is not unusual to have a 10% correction in the Dow. Matter of fact, the Dow did it 2010, 2011, 2012, even after the crisis. Well, a 10% correction in this market would be about 3,000 points. You have to be ready for that in your investment strategy. And one of the keys is getting paid to wait, real interest and dividends. Now, we fell back below 29,000 the impact of the coronavirus. Coca-Cola gave us a more benign read on the global financial impact. It is a tragedy, but Coca-Cola said it's gonna impact earnings by about two cents a share uh, in the current quarter, and they said they could still meet their yearly profit forecast. We'll see, but that does give you a read that on a global basis, yeah, this may be more limited to China. What is also a Chinese phenomena, this is gold. Gold had been down at 1300 per troy ounce back in May. Year to date, it has spiked from the 1500 level to 1650, over 1650 this week. My diagnosis for that would be Asian buying because it's an asset that, that does tend to get bought in Asia when there are warning signals. It's considered a safe haven. We've covered why we disagree with the premise that gold is a safe haven in the past in some of the other YouTube videos. But what has happened here is a big run in gold. I mean, 1300 an ounce to 1650, boom, less than a year, uh, wow. Uh, gold wins for this last 12 months. All right, warning shot for the U.S. equity markets. We had covered the predictions on the S&P 500 that earnings would go from about $40 per quarter for the group to uh, projections were 50 by 2021. But 1.6% in the last quarter is not consistent with that projection. The markets, especially technology, appeared priced for perfection. And yet Apple said iPhone production disrupted and of course Chinese demand. Does that take away the strength of the leadership from the indexes? And I think the indexes are gonna have a hard time delivering the investment returns that investors would like to see at least over 2020, if not for the next two to three years. And there are solutions to that. Go to NetworthRadio.com, fill out the preliminary client questionnaire for your forward investment thinking plan where you can brainstorm here in the office for an hour, meet the team that cares, and we will produce for you and send you an electronic recap during the meeting of an updated investment plan outline based upon real forward cash flow. Here we go, in phase. Energy, we've been a big focus on energy, now moving to the renewable side. In phase makes a technology for solar, and boom, this week, 
everybody got wind of that apparently well sixty dollars a share at the high this week it had been in a more benign phase that's a one-year chart and this is back in august had a correction there broke out into a new high so the renewable energy side of this the solar and the wind are becoming economically viable that's the key message built into this chart and solar edge technologies a very similar spike this week uh, solar and wind coming to be a significant part of the renewables and yes good for the environment too economically viable pieces there also on the technology front <laughs> the electric side let's cover what's happened in tesla just for fun the low was 177 dollars back in may on this one-year chart and the stock <laughs> nearing a thousand dollars at the high this week wow elon musk wins this round even though the company has not produced consistent profits since its inception is that a warning signal for the overall markets uh, the speculation virgin galactic has not even taken a paying passenger to space yet but that space travel went from 10 to 40. there is a huge amount of speculation in this market and we know generally how that ends so be prepared get your plan update for 2030 I'm Spencer McGowan, your financial weatherman, president of McGowan Group. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe. You'll get notifications, especially when we have a fast market and it's time for an update. Thank you for tuning in to our YouTube channel. I'm Spencer McGowan, President of McGowan Group, your financial weatherman. We sponsor each week NetWorthRadio.com broadcast that has the charts and graphs, many of which you saw today. We also sponsor this YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe for fast breaking news, an alert when we post something in a market condition that may have changed. Our goal is to help you as an investor make the right decisions at the right time. And that's part of what this YouTube channel is about as well as NetWorthRadio.com. I am well served with a team of 10 people, including myself. And that team that cares is actually made up of people who devoted to your net profits and your success as well as excellence in service. If you want an educational experience to follow this up, get to NetWorthRadio.com, TheMcGowanGroup.com. Right here, we disclose our net client experience all the way back to 2001. What that includes, the bear market cycles of 02, 08, 2018, and the recoveries through the most recent quarter. That is true education of investors and exactly how our clients have done disclosed right here. Further disclosures, value at risk of loss. Yes, investments are going to fluctuate. That's part of the reason for this broadcast and that can actually work to your advantage. We'll build that into your plan. So I urge you to go to NetWorthRadio.com, fill out the preliminary client questionnaire, a free one-hour brainstorming session by phone or at the Crescent in Dallas, and we will map out a multi-year plan for you and your family that's appropriate. Just because we talk about a security on this broadcast or any securities doesn't make it a recommendation for your portfolio until you have that written plan. Thank you for tuning in today and we'll be back next week as your financial weatherman.